Hey fellow woodcutters, today we're going to go over the trace and the shape of origin, this handheld CNC router. And then the trace is this picture frame right here with some software. What we're doing right now is we're building jewelry boxes. And then on the top of that jewelry box, you're going to put original work on the top of there. If you don't want to do any original work, you could just sign it like that. So here's a simple little graphic. I just wrote my name. Pretty big black felt pen, John 24, 50 thou, and that's what it looked like right there. There's another piece of artwork right here. Again, pretty simple black and white felt pen, pretty wide lines. And then when that ran, that was to about 20 thou, and that's what it came out like through the plywood. So you're picking your artwork or doing your artwork is the key. I'll go through this whole thing from start to finish. But a couple of things you need to note up front is the size of your jewelry box lid. If you want to cut that part really big, we'll do the engrave, then we'll cut it down to fit. And the second thing you need to know too is what kind of cutter is on the shape or origin. So we have a V cutter, a really pretty narrow V cutter. That's a router bit in there. All right, you've created your own personal graphic or artwork. Um, pretty clean, straight lines. Remember, it's getting cut with the V cutter. If you want your lines to be close together like that, then you can't go very deep with the V cutter. If you want to go deeper into the wood, then your lines need to be further apart. Once you have your artwork done, call me over. I'll put the trace origin picture frame around it. I'll open up their app. I'll take a picture of it and then upload it to my Shaper account. Remembering to title it really well is is important so you can find it. Then here's my Shaper account. We type titled that Welcome Mountain SVG. So that's my scalable vector graphic. And then that should also be out in the Shaper origin. And here we are out in the shop. Here's my box top, plywood, black walnut. And I got three things to do. Step one is to scan. And then I could go up here to new scan. Start scan, so it says hit the green button. I hit the green button down here, and then I'm scanning till all of them turn blue. And I'm back up here, I'm gonna hit finish. So now it knows where I am. Now I'm in the design phase. In design, I'm gonna go up here to import, and it's in uh, my files, and then there it is, Welcome Mountain. You recognize it because you have a good title. And then you can kind of place it wherever you want to on there. So I can move it around. Uh, that looks pretty good. I think I'm actually going to rotate it. So I hit rotate 90 degrees. I want to make sure the shaper has enough room to work. So that looks pretty good right there. Hit the green button to place it. Let me hit place. Make sure I could cut it all. Yeah, so that looks good. And then I'm gonna go over here to cut. And I'm ready to cut. Here's my depth of cut up here. 0.02, 20 thou. This is offset, I have no offsets. Diameter of my cutter. Z touch, got to figure out where my board is. Um, I already did that, so I zeroed out. And then now what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna start cutting. So I'm gonna line up to any line I want. Once it turns green like that, it's ready to start. Safety glass is on, turn the router on. Here's the speed, hit here for cut. Reach out, I'm ready for my next line. Start my next line. Reach out, next line. 
cut. Still a very serious cutter, it's a router. Safety is always number one. And then you can see right there, there's the beginning of the mountain. You're just gonna keep doing that until your artwork's cut out, then we're gonna cut the top of the box. All right, there's your artwork that was drawn. You're ready for it, and there it is, cut into the plywood. Super cool way to do original work in woodworking.